I cooking sausage outside here, viewers. And we had another passing shower here, rain shower. So, yeah, we'll turn the radio off here. You know, our constitution talks about money being gold or silver, okay? Gold, coin, silver, coin. I don't mind listening to him, but uh, I like to read my Bible right now. Let's see. It looks like the sun's trying to peep back out here. Looks like it. The trying, I guess, is the key word, right? Trying to... We had a passing rain shower. Let me just check the shot. Here, I think, though. So, oh, I left you at a cliffhanger, didn't I? So, we're going to go back to left off here. And I don't really like to cite the chapters and verse numbers too much because the Bible wasn't really written in verses and chapters. So, but they were added in later for reference sake, you know. Okay, so now we're in the trumpet judgments here. So, we got. Um, we're in the midst of these trump, trumpet judgments. These, this will take place during the tribulation period, of the seven-year tribulation period on this earth. This is God's wrath, God's judgments on this earth, on a fallen world. This is, takes place after the rapture, after the catching away of the saints. Okay, it says the plague of locusts. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. Wow, what a creature, huh? It's describing here. And they had breastplates, as it were breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running, running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions. And, and there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which, was, which is the king which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes after here, two woes more hereafter. And the sixth angel sounded. And I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. Think about during the tribulation, all the people dying from these judgments and plagues that's going to be poured on this earth. So here we read about the third part of men being killed. Talk about the world population there. Talk about a great 
depopulation taking place. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand. what is that, about 2 million I think it would be? And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. And out of their mouths issued smoke, issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. So it's very. John is trying to describe what he's seeing using only terms he knows. It's very interesting what these things are and what um, John is describing here. It says, by their For their power was in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were, were um, like unto serpents, and had heads, and with them they do hurt. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils. How about devil worship, huh? It's funny, right now in our day and age, you know what? One thing is really growing, increasing is Satan worship. Uh, Satan worship is becoming mainstream in our culture here in the United States. I think in Australia too, in Europe, European countries, certain European countries too, there's a, a Satanism is on the rise. And here we read in the tribulation period uh, that there's going to be devil worship taking place. Let me read this again. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murderers, murders, nor of their sorceries. And that word sorcery there is the Greek word pharmakia, which means witchcraft, drugs. So drug usage, um, sorceries, witchcraft. Nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. So thievery be on the rise big time during the tribulation. Okay, says John eats the book. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with the cloud, and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little book open, and he, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot on the earth, and cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roareth. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven. And swear by him that liveth for ever and ever, who created heaven, and the things that therein are, and the earth, and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again, and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter. But it but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, 
thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. The two witnesses. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise, and measure the temple of God and the altar and them that worship therein. So there's going to be the temple built back in Jerusalem. This will be the third temple, um, the temple of the tribulation. That This is the temple that the Antichrist will enter into and defile. So it's, here's, here, here's some description. But the court which is without the temple leave out and measure it not. For it is given unto the Gentiles. And the holy city, and the, let's talk about Jerusalem, the holy city. And the holy city shall they tread underfoot forty and two months. So that's three and a half years there, folks. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days, clothed in sackcloth. So that's three and a half years there. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. And they have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with old plagues as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascendeth out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies lie shall see their dead bodies three days and in and in half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves so they won't even allow these people to be these two witnesses to be buried and they shall and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and shall make merry and shall send gifts one to another it reminds me of Christmas you know how people send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and in half, the spirit of life from God entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. In the same hour, was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, the seventh trumpet. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ and he shall reign forever and ever and the four and twenty elders which sat before God on their seats fell upon their faces and worshiped God saying we give thee thanks O Lord God Almighty which art and wast and art to come because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and hast reigned. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyed the earth. Just like what we see happening in our time, the chemtrailing the skies, the government, these globalists, are just trying to destroy God's earth by um, geoengineering. I see it all the time. I look up and I see, I see chemtrailing all the time. 
it's worldwide dude this is worldwide this is the fil you see it in the philippines my wife sent me a video clip that she made of them chem trailing over metro manila you see it over moscow you see it over red square i mean this is global folks this is geoengineering these people are destroying the earth you know god's earth that he gave to us to try to depopulate the world yep yeah. okay I gotta go. I gotta. I got to do this, folks. I gotta. Um, I will be right back here if you don't mind. I will. I gotta go out. And um, in fact, you come with me. Why not? Let's go. I'm sorry. I got. It. It's a break time here. This is exciting revelation. It's a great book. But I do gotta. Um, I must needs do this. I got the sausage, and I wanted to. I gotta pump the stove up. It looks like it's getting dark again. Oh my, it's getting dark here, dear viewers. Woo! Sorry about my finger in the way. Forgive me, dear viewer. Dearest viewer. I got a. Uh, I got this here quick. Pop, 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 pop. Bump, 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 bump. Pump the stove up here. Do it. We get back in Revelation here because it's getting good. So you can see the sky out here real fast, the gray sky. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be off and down rain showers today, isn't it? I'll show Josh Tainer, my buddy Josh Tainer. I like that guy, Josh Tainer. I show my pan. If you want good pan, this is great for rice. <coughs> I got this at the Asian store. It's from Thailand, made in Thailand, the Zebra brand. Stainless steel pan here, it's a 20 centimeter. I use this for rice. This is a great rice pan here. I would, if you want a good, it's thick gauge too. It's very thick gauge stainless steel, made in Thailand. Very good quality, in my opinion. And there's my good old stove, my Coleman stove. Going. There it is, hook it away. So we gotta get back in here. Let's get back, let's get back. Woo. My tent survived that big wind, I can't believe it. Amazing, you know. Let's get back in here. Ah, boy. We got it there, viewers. You know what, I must be. Did. Just think it's so endless. Right. Yeah, let's get back in here. Huh? Praise the Lord, huh? Yeah, I'm really enjoying the whole, the revelation of the book. You know, people might scoff at the Bible and say it's just a bunch of stories and just a bunch of someone, you know, made this all up. But it's funny how it's all, how we're setting up right now for the time of tribulation in our present day. You know, you see things starting to set up a global one world government. 
more and more it's becoming more and more mainstream. I'm going to talk about a one world government, global government, uh, the economy, the banking, you see, a push for C, C, CBDCs, right? Central bank digital currencies, where they can control people, it's all about control, right? Cash is freedom, you know, cash, paper money, cash. They can't track and trace people with cash, but with digital currencies, they can, though. It's global, it's everywhere. China, they're really, they're, they actually partly instituted that in their, in their economy, in communist China. Digital currency. I think Russia's experimenting with it, too, Russia. The digital ruble. United States is pushing forward the digital dollar. The Federal Reserve. Okay, what did I leave off at? This is getting exciting here, so. Radio's good, but ah, time time I gotta take a break from the radio. I listen to the radio so much. Okay, here we go. Revelation here. The revelation of Jesus Christ here. Let's see, the seventh trumpet. Okay, let's continue here where I left off here. Okay, the woman and the dragon. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. There's the ark of the covenant there, folks, mentioned here. Okay. And there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, in pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and it cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had the place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Here's your three and a half years again mentioned there. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the earth, un loved not their lives unto the death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, 
into her place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent so that's about three and a half years again and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ the beast from the sea and I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea having seven heads and ten horns and upon his horns ten crowns and upon his heads the name of blasphemy and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and the dragon gave him his power in his seat and great authority so his the power will come from Satan himself and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast and they worshiped the dragon which gave power unto the beast so we're going to see satan worship taking place during the tribulation and they worshiped the beast saying who is like unto the beast who who is able to make war with him and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months so there's your three and a half years there and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. So the whole world will be under the control of the, the beast, the Antichrist. The whole world, folks, every nation under the whole heaven will be under there will be truly a one world global government taking place on this earth it will be it will finally come so here we go and all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the lamb slain from the foundation of the world if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints, the beast from the earth. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him, and causeth the earth and, and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he which had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. So is that famous, infamous, I should say, infamous six 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 number there, yeah. 
All right, so we can see what's going to take place on this earth. The global government is finally coming, folks. It will be on this earth. But the saints will be taken out of the world before uh, the church will be taken out before the tribulation takes place. But people will hear the gospel during the tribulation and they will be persecuted. They will be killed. They will be hunted down like rats. So... Like, thank you whoever gave me this Bible again. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really reading this thing here I Greatly appreciate it All right, so I gotta keep an eye on my food here uh, I don't want the water to boil away like last time and then I have ruined food So I, I'll say God bless. Thank you for watching um, Like subscribe leave a comment and support my channel on patreon.com patreon.com slash Alps Taurus so leave it um, feel free to donate to my channel so I can continue to make these great videos just for you viewers God bless bye bye